Is there a mobility scooter around here? Because it's real jazzy. <laughs> All about that jazz. <laughs> Yuffie here is going to rouge her knees and wear her stockings down. <laughs> right, she's halfway there, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think worker morale goes up when they just hear this type of jazz playing all the time? I think it goes way down when they hear the uh, uh, victory jingle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh shit, cloud's coming. Oh god. <laughs> hey boss, want to try treading a little lighter this time? No point fighting if we don't have to. Yeah, I know. Gotta be quiet. Very quiet. As quiet as a mouse. the zoo. <laughs> yep. There's just, like, some... Ostrich with hands is what the Leprechaun <laughs> is. <laughs> the ostrich gonna catch hands is what it's gonna do. <laughs> so we scan the Leprechaun here. Uh, this is an enemy from the original <laughs> game as well. You can steal elixirs from it. This is a... This enemy... I'm pretty sure this is an intentional thing, but... The, does the the lead uh, designer for mm -hmm. the battle system in this game uh, is a dude named Teriki Endo, who uh, is ex Capcom. He worked as like the lead uh, battle uh, game designer on Monster Hunter World, which has this bird like dinosaur guy who sometimes will dig up rocks out of the ground and, and smack them with you, and you can't hit them from the front because your weapons will just bounce off the rock. Uh -huh, the Levercon uh -huh. in this game does the exact same thing. <laughs> He's a bird... birdie guy who picks up rocks out of the ground, and you can't hit him from the front because you bounce off. Yeah, but look at that plumage. He's a pretty birdie. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, there's this big old rock, like... He just bonks you with it. This has to be an intentional like homage to how the Kulu Yaku works in Monster Hunter. Yeah, the, the rock can really mess you up. He's weak to both fire and ice though, so it's really easy to stagger him if you go if you hit him with both of those. I just really like the jazzy battle track you get for fighting the big bird. <laughs> you should never fight Big Bird. He's like no. four years old. It's really unfair. <laughs> Just because he's got a size advantage doesn't mean that it's a fair fight, you know? He doesn't know how to use it. All right. It can't be far now. Let's get our rears in gear. Big G little O, go, go, go! Which Sesame Street character is the best in battle? Oh, Stuffle Up, I guess. You never see him coming. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> if you say stuff off because it's kicked your ass, no one will believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Imagining the Grouch also counts, but it's just because he can pull a gun out of his trash can or something. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, Jija, while being chased, had the time to write this note and hide it in a crate that just says, Hey, stick it to the man and break all of their boxes that are coming up. I feel like maybe he doesn't need your help. He really doesn't. <laughs> He's got it all under control. So, so right now, Cloud is doing like side questing with Aerith, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is like concurrent with that stuff. So you are really the only people currently, like, timeline-wise, harassing Shinra. <laughs> yes. Everybody else is taking a breather or searching for pretty dresses. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah. Look the at box, it go. The box physics here can get pretty wild sometimes. Yeah, there's just, there's just tons of, of extra items to get here. Nothing, like, missable. Okay, what goes in those cages? And I don't think I'm going to like the answer. Mm. 
It just kind of looks like what they would use to ship the people to the underground labs where they work on the people. It looks like a Final Fantasy dub version of how they would like hang pirates out to die. Mm, mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's no. Like, this is a mini game, I guess, but there's no like reward for hitting a certain score or anything, even though it does track that. <laughs> it's just. Yeah, I mean, are, are these the same boxes from the, the mini game? Uh, no, these are different. Okay. Yeah, because these, these got the it's Shinra been a logo. While, but, like. Yeah. Yeah. Just from the size, you can imagine how I would get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the bigger the box, the better the stuff potentially inside of it, like turbo ethers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Something Yuffie definitely shouldn't have as a minor. No, no. Do not let this child get turbo ethered. <laughs> She's already turbo, naturally, so. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just phasing through these, existence now. These boxes are very powerful technology. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> You're gonna get a splinter in your eye. I just love the way some of these boxes freak out, because it really just it feels like uh This whole area, especially the the this final bit with all the boxes piled up on each other in these cages, really feels like early launch game, like, tech demo stuff. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Like, if this were the PS3, just like, look at how many boxes we can simulate juggling around in a cage at once. <laughs> wow. Up ahead, building just screams important. Don't worry, it has to be. I wonder if there were, like, people who were working on that that aspect of the level who had to do math to figure out just how many boxes they could have without running out of memory or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably did. Look, th th the whole thing breaks if we have collision with the, the walkway they're moving <laughs> along. Probably, actually, yeah. <laughs> we, we just have to take it what we can get and hope that nobody makes a big deal out of it. <laughs> There have to be so many guards. I think you know exactly why. Gotta say, they might call this place a maintenance facility, but it looks more like an arms factory to me. Let's keep it tight, boss. We can't afford any more mistakes. GGS life depends on it. Understood. We maintained this scrap metal so well it turned into a gun. <laughs> Amazing. I want to balance a book on Yuffie's head when she's running at that speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, from like what I've seen working on Saints Row, like, yeah, there are very strange, random, out there things that will just completely annihilate performance in a game or just make it crash entirely that are very stupid. <laughs> uh,. I mean, it's like how uh, in the opening cutscene of Skyrim, they had a really bad bug for a long time of just like randomly sometimes the cart you were riding in would just got rocket into the air at like a thousand miles an hour. And it turned out it was because there was a very small uh, bee floating around that had collision. <laughs> and the wagon didn't know what to do with his scripted momentum hitting a bee. <laughs> Why in the world would the bee have collision? I don't know. Just by accident, I suppose, but... I guess. But the bee was so tiny, it took him forever to figure out, that, like, hey, there's a bee running into this cart. <laughs> uh, so we got another USB drive to plug into the Chthonian armlet. Uh, mm -hmm. The big bird dropped this one. Uh, if you the have big this, bird is a hacker. Oh god! Ah, if you got that USB drive equipped, uh, your attack power increases in relation to how little MP you have left. That is the natural extension of the Jurassic World franchise, right? Like Jurassic Park, the the, the dinosaurs are defeated by a child hacker. Mm -hmm. So now the dinosaurs not only evolve into birds, they evolve into birds that are hackers, mm. and now they're completely unstoppable. Yeah. Hey, Universal, I I'm I'm here. Come on. Come <laughs> at me. It's 
setting up Sonan with a combo of both synergy and elemental materials linked up to lightning, uh, giving him that magical friendship bracelet. <laughs> It's yeah, it such really looks a good. Walk cycle. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you so not. You don't have to join in. <laughs> Yuffie's idea of stealth. He's being a really good babysitter for letting this child do whatever she wants. <laughs> you can just walk normal, so not. You don't have to indulge this. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to make sure she has a good time. <laughs> now spill it. Who gave you that information? Oh, his name was something like. Heidegger? Wrong answer! I'm gonna ask you again. All right, all right, I'll tell you. It was Rufus. You don't say. Who was it? Ojo. <laughs> nice going, Gigi. Ready to do this, boss? Born ready. Great, I'll draw their attention. You grab our guy. A diversion, huh? I like it. <laughs> but don't forget, I'm the leading lady. <laughs> hey you! Evildoers! Over here! What the hell? Who's there? <laughs> That's exactly what I was hoping you'd ask. As a beguiling ninja, this is the world's greatest materia hunter. But who am I truly? Well, sighted onlookers wonder no more. Before you see the rare boon, the single white rose of Wu Tai, the one and only Yuffie. Never mind, it's just some kid. Right? <laughs> hey, who are you calling a kid? <laughs> Award winning performance, boss. <laughs> who are you anyway? We're tie-ins. Got eyes on hostiles, requesting backup. <laughs> So you just perfect block this. <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> yeah, and now uh, her health is regenerating because of that. Love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Gigantipede, a new original boss, was not fr not from the original game at all. Uh, it says it's a, a weapons platform, but it really feels like construction equipment that they just grafted guns onto. <laughs> it this just seems like around. a boss design that could have been in the original. Like it's yeah. mostly boxes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the gig Gigantipede is apparently something that just hangs out, like, right around here, just waiting for somebody to climb up where they shouldn't be so it could just shoot them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got two targets. You can either hit its head or its tail. Uh, its head only takes damage from physical and nullifies magic, and vice versa for the tail. This called for a it's hard to attack the head physically if it's walking, because... Its whole head is just a hurt box when it's moving. Mm -hmm. Head is a hurt box is one of my favorite uh, uh, albums. <laughs> uh, you can stagger it really fast if you pressure it and just hit it with the, the infinite melee combo when you're synergized. Grow 
and like you can do so much damage to it so quickly when it's staggered yeah. that yeah <laughs> like yeah it's i got time to waste stop taking damage it says no i please stop Come, hurting me let me do my cutscene, please <laughs> I've got another form, God, guys. Please. Stop it. This is why the Gigantipede is up here, because it just doesn't stack up to the other uh, Shinra robots. <laughs> uh -ho, running away, are we? Yeah. Or maybe it's doing one of those tactical retreats. While we haven't heard the actual theme of like the nation of Wu Tai, this boss theme boss. does incorporate the Wu Tai theme into it. It's neat. Oh, it's a turncoat. Oh. Maybe it's secretly Wu Tai technology that uh, was captured in the war and repurposed. There you go. It's spitting little critters. Drones. What does it need them for? Uh, so the drones have no attacks of their own, but they just all get a beat on you with their laser sights and uh the more <laughs> lasers are on you the more accurate all the missiles that the gigantic <laughs> is going to shoot at you are mm -hmm. they've got lasers too there's lasers there's missiles uh, so when you throw Yuffie's boomerangs out and you, you yeah. zip back to it to fight stuff mid-air, you can actually throw the boomerang out again while you're still in the air, and if you do it quickly enough, you can just zip from enemy to enemy while never touching the ground. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh-oh. Uh oh uh oh What you doing, big guy? Oh, okay. Just kind of flopping a bit. So <laughs> All right. Come crawling down. This will make things easier. So I was going to drop the ceiling on you and start doing like terrain effects. Yeah. If you ever get caught in any of his containment lasers, all of its like gunfire and missiles will almost definitely hit you. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it's finally time to summon this oh, old this wizard. Yes, bring me the wizard. <laughs> I love big wizards. Have you been good boys and girls? <laughs> Rama's a very good summon in Final Fantasy XV because they made him like 3,000 feet tall. He's great in that game. <laughs> the biggest, angriest wizard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he either shoots down bolts of lightning that hit, hit stuff uh, multiple times, or you got uh, this other move here, which is just a big AoE, like... He just has big lightning bolts shoot out from him and just spin all over the place. It takes up like half of the arena. Nice. Boss! Welcome back, <laughs> wizard. Dead serious. <laughs> I just wanted the summons would talk. I want one <laughs> sassy summon. I mean, they kind of make noise. The thing, yeah. The monster ones make make noises. Yeah, if it growls and, and screams a lot, I suppose. Another thing I haven't been able to show off yet, but like, yeah, if you're already mid-air and you throw out your boomerang again, like, what do her magic attacks look like in the air? She doesn't sling magic at all when she's in the air. She just punches stuff a lot. Yeah. She just has magic-based punches and kicks. I love that you're dealing with the drones and just leaving the boss to the wizard. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a really good job, actually. Microsoft boss fighting wizard. It looks like you're trying to kill a giant robot. <laughs> I do need help. Please. I, don't like I can't figure out how to edit the header on my giant robot. <laughs> You know, I can never figure out the whole tabs thing. Can you do this for me, wizard? His final move is drop tables. 
Also, uh, using so much ATB during the fight, we have a level 3 banishment here. Hell so yes. it'll just nuke the boss. Just do it. Yep. Nice work. You saved my ass. <laughs> it was nothing. Well, it did earn you these. Huh? Employee ID cards. They'll get you into the Shinra building. And pretty much any floor. <laughs> basement included. That's where advanced weaponry's got their lab set up. And where they conduct their materia research. If what you're looking for is anywhere in that place, it's gonna be there. Got it. You guys should probably get moving. Word is, Shinra's got something big lined up for us. Nothing less than the destruction of Sector 7. Oh. <laughs> but whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. Right. I'm gonna go report to the others. Good luck up there. <laughs> See you soon. Yeah. Next time, I'm by. I'll show you how Wu Tain's really party. <laughs> Deal. Huh? <laughs> oh. Don't forget to tell the Splinter Cell about Sector 7, I mean. I won't. Well, boss, sounds like we better get going. Let's head up as soon as you're ready. Ready! think this is where those bastards plotted their attacks. Right under our noses. Too bad they made it out before the military could get here. Like chickens flying the coop. Probably best if we don't stick around. Let's catch the train. Okay. Hey, do you remember the last time we went out for drinks? Well, we could catch the train, but... But I feel like there's a lot of board gaming in our immediate future. I think there's a lot of board gaming. <laughs> we we only defeated all the rank one opponents. There's some rank twos around. Mm hmm. And we got that assassin board that you said was so good at oh, boarding. Oh yes. Yeah, it's if you if you want to just skip some of the progression of Fort Condor and just own a lot of the rank two people pretty easily. Just get that assassin's board first. I get it. I should be up there with them. Not that I'd be much use, but still. So I've been thinking about it, and I know just what you need. Round to Fort Condor? You gotta be. Didn't I tell you I'm not in the mood? You know what? Fine. Why the hell not? Might help take my mind off things. little noise yeah little bird noise yeah so yeah the assassin this is specifically an a rank three assassin board uh so it has 10 whole atb gauges to use that's a lot it starts with all 10 full at the very beginning of the match and it has the fastest atb charging speed too so you just it's, it's the zerg rush board you just yeah. go yeah yep. And it also is able to hold uh, the the maximum amount of units, all eight. So how is there a that it's the best board? Like by what it, metric is there a better board? Uh, it has no materia. Okay. So okay. if you ever get like overrun or or anything, uh, it can be hard to come okay, back. Okay, just don't get overrun. How about yeah. that? Yep. That? <laughs> yeah, this really is the Zerg rush. You just got to kill stuff right away. <laughs> Uh, so it got this little missile launcher piece now, so it can just bombard stuff and do pretty decent damage while also completely blocking one of the lanes. Uh, it does lose health over time on its own, because it's too good otherwise. 
You're already shooting a bird. Come on, yeah, this isn't it's, fair. It's, How it's, is this going to make Jesse feel better? <laughs> <laughs> just a random teenage girl runs up to you and just completely obliterates you at a board game. And that's why my branch of the paramilitary resistance is best. <laughs> I like the way the 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 little uh, the little four-legged robots run. They look really cute when they're so tiny. <laughs> this bird is dead. They've already they're really cranking out like the Final Fantasy based mobile games. Yeah, like they yeah. they got that battle royale. They have that. Weird chapter based, like, sort of remake of Final Fantasy VII. It's weird. I don't know what's going on with that game. Uh, it's also, like, retelling, like, the stories of the other compilation games or something. I don't know. It's not out yet, but I would not be very surprised if they also just made an enhanced version of this mini game as a mobile game. <laughs> it is ripe for the the gotcha stuff. Absolutely, yes, 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 yes. You, you got to do pulls for for the good units for sure. Yep. Damn. Well, can't win them all. <laughs> ha ha! Laugh it up. Now leave me alone, would you? Hmm, what's that I hear? The sound of the world's smallest violin. <sighs> Keep pushing me. Like, if you just prodded Yuffie a little bit more, you'd get an optional boss fight out of this, I think. <laughs> Making Jesse have the worst day ever. Then there's the second group of plot ghosts that steer you back into the remake plot. Yes, yes. Because you're not allowed to kill Jesse. <laughs> All right, Roche. Yeah, why are you hanging out here? What are you I'm doing? Training, my friend. Come out, come out wherever you are. Back for more? Such youthful determination. I love it. I don't think this is an effect. In fact, I know it's not an effective strategy. He it doesn't work. <laughs> I come from the future and I know it doesn't work. It doesn't work out. Uh, Roche also has an assassin board, but it's a rank two, so it's not quite as good, but it does have four whole materia on it. Uh... Yeah, we've also got this big old moth unit. Yeah. Yeah, they could absolutely make a bunch of extra units. They could make little little figure versions of all of the like main cast and the villains and shit too that are the really mm -hmm. hard pulls cloud and address is the the super super rare <laughs> there's special <laughs> events to get him uh i hate all of this but i would maybe try it out yeah <laughs> i i have not been pulled into any mobile games the only thing i ever really like got into briefly was pokemon go Mm -hmm. uh, but then my phone was a little too shitty to run it when it came out. <laughs> it would just kill my battery, so... Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's just a matter of time. It just has yeah. to have the right wrapping, then I'll, I'll be suckered in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna beat up a bird with a robot. Yep. This bird is fucked. Oh no! He's shooting your bird. Oh, your bird got him. It's fine. One of the other downsides of the the assassin's board we've got is that your birds have a little uh, less health than normal. Ah, uh, uh huh, uh huh. But their attack power is higher, so it kind of balances it out, anyways. Well played, my friend. And to think, I thought I'd best you easily. Wait, did you just call me your friend? But of course, with that display of passion, you've more than proven yourself worthy. Henceforth, you shall occupy a place in the pantheon of my closest companions. When next we meet, it will be on the open road, the wind in our hair. 
Just don't make me come looking for you, my friend. Roche is very lonely. <laughs> Ooh, you got a board off him. Yep. Yeah, you get the 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 version of the assassin's board that he has. Uh, which can sometimes be useful to have a slightly slower assassin's board that's got a bunch of materia on it. Um, Yeah, these higher rank opponents also give you a lot more Condor coins, so we can just kind of clean out wow, 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 wow. most of the, the yeah, other game pieces from ninja. old, old Snapper. You, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta talk to him so he can stop doing that dance so he doesn't destroy his knees. Yeah. He's pulling 12-hour days doing this dance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a couple other expensive units here, including the Cutter. Uh, also the Sledgeworm. Ooh, yeah. Just get a helicopter, why not? Just yep. get a helicopter. Uh, the helicopter is like the, I think the most costly unit in the game. It costs like seven gauges to summon. But it flies, so a lot of units can't hit it. And if you ever find yourself with a few spare coins, remember old Snapper. How could anyone forget old How, Snapper? Yeah. How? I'd like to try. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't like old Snapper just because he's just a bit too much. <laughs> he, he needs to dial down one aspect of yeah. himself. I thought when he became old Snapper, he'd also become mellow Snapper, but no, no, he's, he's just like young Snapper. I couldn't help noticing your Fort Condor set. Got time for a game? It'd be my pleasure. Then let's do it up. I gotta warn you, though. I'm kind of an expert at this. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll hold my own. I eat experts for breakfast. Uh oh, is that right? Well, you can talk the talk, so let's see you walk the walk. Italian board, ooh. Yeah. This is... Wedge is pretty tough, even when you've got the this assassin's board. Uh, he's just got a lot of units. Mm -hmm. And they're all... Uh, he's got a lot of, like... hardy units. Lots of health. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got one of them uh, uh, hammer bands. The hammer bands. Snake boy. Uh, but one of the nicest things, uh, one of the best things you can do with the Assassin's Board is just to have a lot of the, uh, unit producing facilities, because mm -hmm. you can, they cost five, five gauge each, but you can just kind of, I mean, you start off with ten gauge right away, you can throw yeah, up two yeah. factories <laughs> right from the start and completely block both of your lanes, and just beeline for stuff, like, yeah. I was really into wrecking Wedge's uh, leaderboard on the darts game, but I don't know if Cloud would Very go for this. So. I don't know no. if Cloud would go for the board game. No, it's it's not part of his brand, his image. <laughs> yeah, I guess he wouldn't look cool doing this, so... He's, he's getting you. He's after your birds. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, oh shit, sometimes, you lost a lot of territory. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta let a bird go, you know? But yeah, sometimes everything just gets fucked real quick. Sometimes you just gotta, like, try to draw as many of the enemies as you can to one side so you can just sneak one or two guys on the other lane. <laughs> And yeah, if there's no clear winner once you hit zero seconds, uh, you just go to instant death, where uh, everyone can produce units mega fast. <laughs> I, th I think you got this, though. Yeah, it's fine. 
Thankfully, the, the helicopter spawned a little bit later, otherwise it would have been way worse. <laughs> it's like the helicopter is a, a, a defense unit, and so it's weak to uh, green units, but there's a lot of... A lot of the stronger green units can't actually shoot flying enemies, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Wedge is throwing out, like, all the material right now, but it's it's too late. I'm sorry, Wedge. Your bird must die. I'm so sorry. And this just, like, a day before you're gonna fall out of a, the 60th story of the Shinra building? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. I didn't think you had a chance. Sure showed me. You freaking bet I did. Aw, not gonna go crying to your cats, are ya? Aww. Looks like you've got your work cut out for you, my furry friends. Yes, I was planning to do that, although now I'm self-conscious about it. Hey, hey wait a second. Oh, that, that was everyone, right? Including the Grandmaster? So where's my materia? I want it now! Uh... The more Yuffie wins Fort Condor games, the more brazen she's getting. <laughs> Stay back. So yeah, we've got one final Fort Condor opponent left, and who else could it be? Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Yuffie. I finished reviewing your Fort Condor match records. You exhibit what in sporting parlance is called the ability to perform in the clutch and the heart of a champion. In combination, these traits make you the ideal player. That being the case, if it isn't too much trouble, would you mind testing your medal against me? Uh, I guess so. I'm sure you'll kick butt. Chadley's gonna gonna pull out the Yu-Gi-Oh deck that's 3,000 cards and nothing but Pot of Greed or whatever. <laughs> So at first, Chadley's board looks like it really sucks. Mm -hmm. Only five ATB, and he's only able to have five units with him. Uh, but Chadley is a motherfucker. He is so hard. <laughs> His like, birds are strong. He's got strong birds. He's got strong birds. He's got four materia. One of them just being an HP up that makes all of his units have more health. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like... He is so difficult, and I have beaten him before, and even knowing what I needed to do, I lost like three or four times trying to record this fucking thing. <laughs> well, uh, that's, that's what you get for trying to beat Chadley. He's a robot. He's like yeah. fucking plugged his USB finger in, the, in here, and he's directly <laughs> interfacing with the code. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Hojo originally created Chadley just as an AI to get really good at chess, and mm -hmm. it eventually turned into Fort Condor, and now he's a boy. he's a gamer boy. <laughs> he's a gamer boy. So three of uh, Chadley's five units are just factories that churn out soldiers really fast, and mm -hmm. that's he basically just Zerg rushes you also, but I feel like... Chadley might cheat because I feel like the rate at which he produces units is even faster than I can, even though we both have the same like speed in our boards. <laughs> but yeah, it's the best strategy I've had for dealing with Chadley is to also have a bunch of unit producing uh, factories and really just try to squeeze a dog and a couple other units into the, at the center bird while all of Chadley's units are trying to deal with your factories instead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, otherwise... Cast and stop on your dudes? Yeah. Chadley will just stomp you into, into nothing. He is, he is messed <laughs> up. <laughs> and like, I've overclocked my brain! Yeah, and like, no other fight gets as hectic as this. Like, there's so much shit happening in this one. This is why Cloud doesn't play Fort Condor, because yeah. he knows that, that Chadley would destroy him, and he cannot <laughs> stand up to that. Yeah, no way. Like, it, it would ruin his self-identity if for, for Chadley to beat him. <laughs> that was quite the performance, Yuffie. Thanks to you, my hypothesis has been substantiated. Your hypothing is what now? Substantiated. I was testing security measures against Wutaian espionage operations. 
By offering a reward, I surmise I could accelerate the rate of adoption, which would, in turn... Yeah, yeah, skip to the end. Uh, my apologies. What I meant to say was this. The money and the materia are yours. Do with them as you please. Did you say materia? So, you're the Grandmaster. Who'd have thunk? Ha ha ha! How does it feel, Shinra, to see the whole of Midgar brought to its knees by the amazing Yuffie? <laughs> Your capacity to remain undeterred and overcome adversity is commendable. You are truly a worthy competitor. When I next wish to test a hypothesis, I would be honored if you would agree to... Kick its butt! Anytime! Was that a date? <laughs> Sonon, Sonon, was that a date? I have felt something after playing this board game with that pretty girl. <laughs> there is much to think about. I can't wait to tell Mr. Cloud about my feelings. <laughs> And that's why Cloud won't return to, to, to the slums <laughs> yeah. for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. 